and siren makeup. Let's do it. I want to create some realistic looking scars. So I'm just going in with my brow pencil to mark out my line. I'm going over the line with a red lip liner. Then I'm just going to take my finger and pat out the colour so it looks a bit more smudged. So here's my scars. Now I'm going to go in with some of this rigid collodion scarring liquid. Never tried it, so hopefully it goes well. And I'm just going to apply it along where I put my scars. <laughs> oh, it smells really strong. I've got to be careful when doing this because I don't think you're supposed to put it too close to your eyes. And as it starts to dry, your skin tightens up. So it creates like a realistic looking scar. Once it dries, I'm setting each layer with some translucent powder. So I've done about three layers of the scarring liquid. I kind of look like Scar Simba. Now I need to do my face. So I'm going to mix white, grey and light blue. Got my mixture. So now let me just smother it on. Oh, the scar still looks good. Ah, oh, I just realised I forgot to brock out my eyebrows. Brock? Block. <laughs> let me try and quickly do it now. Brush the hairs upwards, going in with some clear brow wax. Contour with a bit of a darker grey. It looks like I'm blending so aggressively, but I promise I'm not. Ooh, I'm really happy with the shading. Now I'm going to set my whole face with translucent powder. <gasps> I've gone over all the contour areas with a tiny bit of black blended in. I took some dark grey eyeshadow and went in my inner corner as if I'm kind of doing like a cut crease. Brought it down like I'm creating an eye bag. I'm just going to go along that line again with some black eyeshadow using a really teeny tiny brush. Then add some along my lower lash line and bring it all the way out like a wing. Then I use some white eyeshadow to go right along the front of where I did the line to make it stand out more and kind of look 3D. Going back along my scar with some burgundy eyeshadow adding some black shade into the mouth and I added a bit right here under my brow and on my nose as well. So I just took like 10 hours trying to create these gills. <laughs> I used black, blue and white eyeshadow. But they look good enough to me. I've never tried to do gills before so I'm not sure if this is how they're supposed to look. But lightly with some eyeshadow I create my guidelines of where the gills are going to be. Then I'm going above the line with some white eyeshadow. Then I just do a thin line of white face paint. Is it just me or do the gills on this side look a bit more purple rather than blue like this side? Hmm. I'm going to try and create some spikes like a puffer fish so I'm going in with some latex. I'm being quite generous with how much I put. And I painted some toothpicks blue so I'm going to break them in half and start sticking them in. Come on stick. <gasps> oh it sticks! I'm using white eyeshadow to create some scale looking marks. Subtle details but they make a difference. I'm going to leave the face for now because it's time for the body. Paint all of my neck. Okay body's covered. Contour in the body and creating some shadow. The details are finally done. Now I'm going to add some mascara because this siren needs some lashes. I'm adding some individual bottom lashes and now the top lash. I'm adding some highlighter and this highlighter gives kind of like a wet look which is perfect for this mermaid look. Bling bling baby. Oh my goodness guys I just spent like five hours trying to put this contact lens in. <laughs> now I need to do the other eye so who's ready to see the end result? Ta-da! Is the end result? Is this creepy or cool? <gasps> Wait a minute I just realized I look like a shark. Comment a shark emoji if you think I look like a shark. If you love this look as much as I do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Bye guys!